The wind was blowing today and it could start picking up again this evening. For most of the day, there were some white caps surrounding the San Mateo Bridge. Things have calmed down a little bit now, but the concern tonight, if the wind picks up, trees could start coming down because the ground is so saturated. Coming up in just a moment, the danger sign you'll want to watch for. But first, Chief Meteorologist Paul Deano is with us. He's watching those winds and what's coming. Tonight. Well, we do have a, a slight increase in winds right now in the urban locations. The big concern is the hills because mm -hmm. as you go up in elevation, there's less friction, so those winds can double in speed. And look at the uh, winds that we had around the urban core. Hey, it was a windy day. Were you out there making your returns at your favorite mall? Well, you were caught in the wind. Hope you had a jacket. It didn't feel like 60 degrees outside. 30 mile per hour peak wind gusts in Alameda, San Carlos, and Chrissy Field in San Francisco. Strongest wind was in Napa, 37 miles per hour, 29 in Concord, 28 in San Jose. It is the hills that are under the wind advisory, anywhere above 1,000 feet in elevation. Uh, wind sustained this evening, 20 to 30 miles per hour with higher gusts. We've already seen wind gusts 45 to 55 miles per hour, and the opportunity for winds that strong will continue until about 4 in the morning tomorrow, so several more hours to go. Your New Year's Eve forecast first as we fast forward to Monday night into Tuesday. It will not be windy. It will not be raining. It will not be foggy. So for your viewing pleasure, the fireworks forecast is fantastic with temperatures all around the Bay Area in the mid to upper 40s. Talk about when that wind will leave your weekend forecast and if there's any rain in the seven day. That's coming up in a few minutes. Sounds good, Paul. Thanks. KPX 5's Don Ford is live at Grizzly Peak in the Berkeley Hills with more on this wind advisory. Don, what is it, what is it like right now? Well, Veronica, I'm at the 1600 foot elevation here off Grizzly Peak Boulevard. It's a little chilly, but this is the spot, this elevation that the National Weather Service in a few hours is going to get whopped. The winds have already started to build trees bending to the gust. The National Weather Service is predicting later this evening those wind gusts could reach 55 miles per hour at higher elevations. Earlier this week, we had heavy rains leaving the ground soft in many places. This combination has tree experts concerned. It just makes the situation much worse. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, trees could come down at any point. Mr. Gaetan says there are some signs that you can see when your tree is in trouble. There are what warning signs that it might be coming down? Uh, mushrooms, mushrooms, uh, mushrooms, mushrooms. Oh, absolutely, mushrooms. Uh, they they usually grow on uh, dead wood, like dead roots. I dead guess. Oh, dead okay. roots. Even with the winds getting stronger this afternoon, visitors enjoyed the Grizzly Peak view. I'm from Buffalo, Minnesota, and if you have wind in Minnesota this time of the year, you can get frostbite. <laughs> that ain't happening today. Not not here, no. <laughs> well. Well, no one's getting any frostbite here anytime soon. And uh, throughout the day when running around, I didn't see any trees that fell yet that have fallen. But if they do, I'll be here to get them. Back to you, Veronica. All right, Don, sounds good. Thank you.